Hi everyone, I'm Holly Wilderidge and I'm going to be teaching a Pilates core class today. Um, with me doing class is Augustine Hernandez from Train to Be Balanced in Jackson, Wyoming, and Megan Atkinson from Flow Lab here in Portland. Um, we're actually doing our class here at the Flow Lab studio. And I'll give you some ideas of how to change the exercises as we go on, either to make it easier or more challenging. Um, please choose one that's the best for you. More challenging isn't always the best. And um, as always, make sure that um, engaging in an exercise program such as this is approved by your physician. So to start, we're gonna start standing and we're gonna start with a little neck stretch. We're gonna take our feet a little bit wider than our hips. Reaching your right hand over the top, so I'm reaching towards my left ear, ear to shoulder. Stretching over, reaching your left hand or your opposite hand down towards the floor. And you can have your eyes open or you can go ahead and close them, taking a couple good breaths. Breathing into that side, breathing into the neck. And I'm using the weight of my arm. I'm not pulling down. Good. I'm going to go ahead and gently release that head up towards the sky. You're going to turn your head so your chin comes towards your chest. I'm reaching to the back of my skull. My nose is going towards my elbow. And same thing, I'm using the weight of the arm to give myself a little stretch. I'm aware of my opposite shoulder, making sure it's not rolling forward, but it's opening up and reaching down. And same thing, eyes open or closed. Breathing into wherever you feel the tightness. And then go ahead and gently release that head, let it float up towards the sky. We'll do the same thing to your second side. So you go ear to shoulder, hand draws over, reaching the opposite hand down towards the floor. Thinking about my right shoulder blade drawing down my back, so I'm opening that shoulder. And then after a couple of breaths here, I'm gonna go ahead and let the head float all the way up. Chin comes towards your shoulder, reaching to the back of your skull. So my nose is going towards my elbow. Same thing, using that arm, drawing it down. As I'm doing this, I'm standing up nice and tall, I'm not slouching. And then go ahead and gently release that head. Head will float all the way back up to neutral. Your head will come forward. We're going to roll down. So you're going to go chin to chest, one vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way down. This could be bent or straight legs. Do whatever feels better. But you're going to go all the way down to the bottom of your stretch, letting your head hang. Notice if your shoulders are coming up or your head's coming up. Take a couple good breaths here. If you need to bend and stretch your knees, if you need to shift your weight. Good. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and bend both knees, roll up. So you're rolling through your spine, articulating the spine, abdominals supporting you. Eventually your shoulders will open and widen and your head will float all the way up. We'll do that again. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest, roll down. Head dives down, abdominals lift up. This could be with bent or straight legs, whatever works better for you. Making sure that your head's really hanging down. Good, a couple breaths here, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the mouth. Good. Soften both knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Good. Shoulders will open wide and head will float all the way up. Last time, chin to chest, rolling down, head dives down, abdominals lift up. Make it easy. This isn't where we're working really hard. Letting your head hang, bent or straight legs, to the bottom of your stretch. Good. We're going to stay in the bottom of your stretch for a moment. Go ahead and nod your head yes. Real easy. And then go ahead and shake your head no. Easy throat and jaw. Nice job. Go ahead and let your head come to center. You're going to roll up again. Soften your knees. Abdominals draw up. Stacking the spine. Pelvis will come to neutral. Eventually, your shoulders will open wider and your head will float all the way up. Nice job. 
We're going to go on to the next thing. So we're going to turn sideways for your place. Feet are going to stay nice and wide. I'm going to start with a roll down. So same mechanics, chin to chest, rolling all the way down one more at a time. Bent or straight legs. You're gonna get your hands all the way on the mat. Walk your hands out to a nice plank. So your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your feet are still nice and wide. You're gonna have energy off the top of your head and abdominals are lifted. Your goal is to stay parallel to the floor. We're gonna take some circles. So we're gonna be moving from the wrist and the feet, inhaling and exhaling, abdominals lifting up. So when you're doing these breaths, they're nice deep, full breaths. They're not just your normal soft breaths. Good. Really warming the body up from the inside out. Generous full circles. Notice if one part of your circle is a little bit smaller than the other. See if you can even it out. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead and reverse. Same thing, opposite direction. So we're doing about eight to ten. Circles in each way, if you like to count. If you know me, you know I don't. Good breaths. Nice job. Nice wide palms. Good. You're going to find center. Abdominals lifting. Your elbows are going to hug your body as slow as you can. Use your breath lower all the way down to the mat. Good job, let your toes go long. Press your hips back into a child's pose. Your knees can be narrow or wide. If child's pose doesn't feel good for you, for your knees, you can maybe do a little cat cow. You can put a towel um, a, a behind your knees if that's a good modification for you. But letting your head hang, using your deep full breaths to move the back, move the rib cage. All right, so when we really get that rib cage to move, it allows our muscles to get a little, little more length, a little more movement. Stay in this child's pose position and walk your hands over to one diagonal. Doesn't matter which. Now breathe into that one long side of your body, coming from your pelvis all the way up through your armpit, all the way to that little finger. So you're really trying to use, uh, utilize your side breathing, your lateral breathing. Same thing to your second side. Walk your hands over. You can let your head just stay heavy. Right away, breathe into that side. Might be a little different spot than your first. Good, deep, lateral breaths. Nice job. Okay, go ahead and come back to center. So your hands are reaching out in front of you. Go ahead and shift your weight forward onto all fours. So you're gonna bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Knees are now gonna come underneath the pelvis. So you're in a quadruped position. Tuck your toes, fly your hips back into a more traditional downward dog. Good, let your head hang. Go ahead and pedal through the feet. One heel reaching down and then the other. Nice wide palms on the floor. Space between your shoulders and your ears. Working through those feet. And then as best you can, go ahead and reach two heels down towards the floor. Inhale, two heels come up. So you're staying up on the balls of your feet. Exhale, reach two heels down. Do that again. Inhale, up. Exhale, lengthen down. Two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, lengthen down. Last time, inhale, up. Exhale, lengthen down. Nice job. A little different. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, shift your weight forward into a high plank. We're going to go into a plank series now. So hands beneath the shoulders. Energy at the top of your head and your heels. Abdominals lifted. Elbows are going to hug your um, body. I want you to lower down to your low plank, whatever that is. Good job. Nice inhale here. Exhale, lower all the way down with control. Toes go long. Inhale, lengthen up into your swans. So you're pushing the floor. It's okay to use your arms. Shoulders down your back. Good. Lengthen all the way back down to the mat. Tuck your toes. Engage those glutes. Press your body up to that high plank. Nice. Fly your hips back to that downward dog. Good. 
Good, we're gonna do that three more times. Inhale, get ready. Exhale, high plank, moving with your breath. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, low plank, whatever that is for you. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, lower all the way down. Toes go long. Inhale, lengthen up, widen that collarbone. Exhale, lengthen all the way down. Glutes engaged, tuck your toes. Exhale, press it up. Fly those back, downward dog. Good, inhale, get ready. Exhale, high plank. Beautiful. Exhale, low plank. Nice, stay here for a moment. Lower all the way down with control. Lengthen up into your extension, into your swan, wide collarbone. Exhale, lengthen down, tuck your toes, press it up. We have one more set, high plank. Hips fly back, downward dog. Inhale, get ready, exhale, high plank. Inhale, wide your cage. exhale, low plank, abdominals lifted. Nice, full inhale here, exhale, lower all the way down, good. Swan, lengthen all the way up. And exhale, lengthen down, tuck your toes, glutes engaged, high plank, press it up. Fly your hips back, downward dog, good. Nice, we're gonna do it a little bit different now. Inhale, prepare, exhale, high plank, good. Now the name of the game is to keep your hips still. You're gonna really try not to let them move side to side at all. Energy up top of the head. We're gonna come down to your right forearm and then your left. Good job. Hips stay still, up to your right, up to your left. So that was one, we're gonna do that three more times. Coming down on your right and down. Press it up and up. Good, coming down to your right and right. Press it up. And up. Again, coming down. And down. Press it up. And up. Last time. Down. And down. Good. Press it up. Hands make those shoulders. Good. A little different. Come down to your right form, then your left. Stay here. Okay, a couple options. We're going to stay here and breathe. You can keep two feet on your mat and keep breathing. Another option is to lengthen your right leg up so you're on a single leg plank. That's fun. If you want to have more fun than that, you can keep your right leg up and circle. These are just options. But we're going to stay here and breathe for 10, 9, breathing 8. Good job. 7, 6, this is, is not easy. 5, 4, you got this. 3, 2, knees don't touch. Come up to your right hand, up to your left hand. Your own timing, lower all the way down with control. Release the bottom, hips go back, child's pose. Whew. Nice job. Hands can stay forward if that feels good. You can also bring your hands back towards your heels. Gives a nice shoulder release if that sounds more appealing. Go ahead and take a couple breaths. Breathe into wherever you need to. So that was the first side. We're going to do the same thing on the second side. So however you like, there's no rush. You're going to find your way back up to downward dog. That might mean you go through quadruped, your little cat cow, press it up. Maybe you want to do some planks and then hit it back. When you do get to downward dog, take a couple moments, nudge around. And this is a lot of shoulder work. This is um, all the shoulder work that we'll be doing it, um, in this class. So get you nice and toasty. Okay, looks like we're about ready. Second side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Nice high plank. Stabilize those hips coming down to your left forearm and then your right. Good. Press it up to your left and right. Really think about the length of the body. Again, coming down and down. Exhale, press it up and up. Two more sets. Coming down and down. Beautiful. Exhale, press it up. And up, last set, lengthen down, and down. Good, press it up, hands underneath those shoulders. You're gonna come down to your forearms. Again, you have a couple options. You can stay here, two feet on the mat, abdominals lifting and breathing. You can lengthen your second leg up so you're into a single leg plank. You can just hold that and breathe. Last option is to circle that leg. Either way, your pelvis is staying nice and still. Doms are lifting, breathing for 10, 9, 8. You got this. 7, 6, you're almost there. 5, 
four, breathing, three, two, knees don't touch, come back up to those hands, high plank, your own timing, lower all the way down with control, release the bottom the hips, go back, child's pose, Whew. nice work, hands can stay forward if you like, you can reach them back towards your heels if that feels a little bit better, give your shoulder a release, if there's anything else you really need to do for a moment or two, go ahead and do that. Good work. Okay, now that we're a little more toasty, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find your way to your back. <laughs> so find your way to your back, hug your knees in towards your chest. Just give your low back a little stretch. Nothing fancy. Now, if you have a, um, a tight neck, as a lot of us do, uh, you might consider giving yourself a towel or a pillow. If you notice that your neck is really straining, you're lying flat, um, you're the person I'm speaking to. You really need to give your neck a little support. Okay, so we're gonna bring our arms out to the letter T off to the side, and you're just gonna let both knees topple over at one side. Just a little bit of a twist, and then go all the way down. Make it easy as possible. So we're just giving a little bit of rotation to the back. Now you can keep your eyeballs up towards the sky. Or if you like, you can let your eyes go the opposite direction of your knees. A couple good breaths here. Use your abdominals. Let those knees come up. And then you're just going to topple over to your second side. Easy throat and jaw. Minimal effort here. Let those legs go over. And again, maybe keep your head neutral. If you want a little more rotation, you're gonna turn your head and bring your eyeballs over. Good. Nice, we'll do that one more time. Letting the knees come up to the center, topple over your first side. Using your breath, eyes either to the sky or the opposite direction of your knees. And here you can either keep your knees bent, or if you want, you can go ahead and kick out this leg and maybe grab your foot, your toe, your calf, your hamstring. Just an option. Thinking about the opposite shoulder blade coming down. Thinking about the opposite lungs, opposite rib cage sinking down. Good. Same thing, second side. Go ahead and release that stretch. Knees topple over. You can have your knees bent. You can kick out that top leg. If you like, these are just options. You can have your head square. You can rotate. Notice what you need. Use your breath. Good. Nice. Go ahead and release that stretch. Come back to center. So two feet are going to come onto the mat. Hands are going to come down by your hips. So we're going to go into a little bit of a bridge. So your heels are going to be in line with your sits bones. Hands down by your hips. We're going to roll up into our bridge. So you're going to tuck your pelvis like a bad dog. Engage your glutes and articulate your spine up into your bridge. Good job. At the top of your bridge, make sure you have both glutes on. Both hamstrings and abdominals zipped up. Go ahead. Knees and toes really tracking straight forward. And we're going to keep our hips up and we're going to add some arms. Inhale, reach two arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lengthen two arms back down. Just that, two more times. Inhale up and exhale, lengthen down. Nice job. One more time. Inhale up, equal weight on both feet. Exhale, lengthen down. Hands stay down, slow motion, roll through your back, soften your upper back, your middle back your lower back, all the way back down so you have that neutral. We got that normal arch in your lower back. We're gonna do that again. Tuck your pelvis, engage your glutes, peel your hips up one vertebrae at a time. Good, go through your checklist. Both hammies are on, both glutes, abdominals zipped up so you're not sending your rib cage up towards the sky but you're really zipped up in the front. Three breaths with our arms. Inhale, reach two arms up towards the sky and exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale, widening the body. And exhale. Easy throat and jaw. Last time, inhale up. 
Nice job. Exhale, lengthen down. Hands stay down, slow motion, roll down, upper back, middle back, lower back, all the way to neutral. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna go into a little bit of a roll up now. So you have a couple options. You can have your knees bent and you're gonna move your feet a little bit further away from your body. You can have your legs long. Megan's gonna show that version. So either way, pointed or flexed foot, whatever works better for you. Two arms are gonna reach above your head. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, you're gonna peel the body all the way up. Rolling up again, one vertebrae at a time. Excellent, and your hands are gonna really reach forward. Your nose is gonna go towards the ground. Yep. Dogs. And then I want you to go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Shoulders draw down the back. Hands reaching forward. Tuck your pelvis, slow motion, bent or straight legs, roll all the way back down. Breathing. Good. Two arms are going to come above your head. Do that again. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, peel it up. And if you need a little more help, you can always grab behind your hamstrings and pull yourself up. Head dives forward, nice. Hands reach forward, abdominals pull back. So it's different than just uh, collapsing over your body. Stack the spine, sit up nice and tall. Bend your straight legs, tuck your pelvis, slow motion. Breathing, continuous breath. So easy to hold your breath on this one. And do that one more time, inhale. Exhale, it's on your timing. Slow is more fun. Use your hands on your hamstrings. If you need, give yourself a little help. Hands dive forward. Good to be looking towards the floor. Good. Stack the spine. Shoulders drop down the back. Really nice posture. Tuck your pelvis. Roll down. So as you roll down, you're lifting up. You're almost resisting going down. Breathe. Good. Nice job. Okay, we're going to do one more roll. I lied to you. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, roll all the way up. Any variation that works good for you. Take that stretch forward. And this time, I want you to go ahead and just release forward. Grab your ankles, grab your toes, bend your knees, wiggle around. Maybe you need to go into a little bit of a butterfly. Maybe you need to nudge. Take a little rock side to side. Maybe it feels better to have your knees bent. Just let your head hang. All right, we're gonna stay seated and go into twist and soft. So we're going to go ahead and reach our feet out in front of our body, about a little bit wider, about oh, wide is our mats, a little bit wider than our hips. Let's go ahead and flex our toes, arms are going to come out to the side with the letter T. Abdominals lifting up, you're going to lift up, row taller, you're going to rotate to one side, doesn't matter which. And then bring your body back. Make sure your hips, your feet are not moving. Lift up, row taller and rotate. It's like a barbershop pulse, you're growing taller as you rotate and bring it back. Breathing, lift up and rotate. Good. And bringing it back. Last one like this, lift up and rotate. Beautiful. And coming back, we're going to add this on. Lift up and rotate to your first side. Whichever that is. Now you're going to keep going and you're going to reach towards the outside of that foot. Good. Think about pulling that right hip or that opposite hip back. Good, abdominals bring you up. You're gonna stack your spine and come back to center. Same thing other side. Inhale, prepare, exhale, rotate. Inhale, get ready, exhale, reach forward. You got it. Opposite hip pulls back. So as Megan reaches to her left, her right hip really pulling back in opposition. Abdominals stack your spine and square it off each side one more time. Lifting up, grow taller. Find that barbershop pull. Find that diagonal. Opposite hip pulls back. Good job. Again, initiating from the abdominals, bringing the body up, finding center. Last one, inhale, prepare, exhale, twist. Reaching forward into your saw, the outside of that foot. Good. Nice, abdominals bring you up. And square it off. Hands reach forward, you can keep your legs straight or you can bend them. Your own timing, rolling all the way back to your back. Bent or straight legs. Continual breath. Easy shoulders, good. When you get all the way to the bottom, your hands can come by your hips. We're gonna bend your knees, we're gonna do a little bit more of a bridge series. So 
So heels in line with your sits bones, so we're not using that wide athletic stance, but we're really cutting a little more narrow. Tuck your pelvis, bring your hips all the way up into your bridge. Same as before, both hammies are on, both glutes are on, abdominals are zipped up. Um, you can have your hands down on the mat. That's a great option. That's going to give you the most stability. You can bend your elbows. That's going to make it a little harder. And then the hardest version would be reaching all the way up towards the sky. So if you're reaching up towards the ceiling. So whatever works better for you. And if you need to change as we go through the variation, that's completely fair too. So your hips are going to stay nice and square. Go ahead and bring one leg up into a tabletop. So you'll be bending at your hip. <laughs> so we're going to be working single leg. Yep, so you're bending at your hip and your knees at 90. Pointed or flexed foot, both are great, but it's nice just to have energy for that whole foot. Good job. Abdominal zipped up. Okay, I don't want your hips to move. With control, bring that foot down to the mat. Good, nice breath. Same thing, second leg. Bring that leg up into a tabletop. Good. Notice if, you're, if one hip's dipping down towards the ground. Notice if one hip's reaching up towards your shoulder. So in an ideal world, it really doesn't move. With control, bring it down. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some slow motion marches. Exhale, bring it up. Good. And bringing it down with control. And bringing it up. Nice. And coming down. Good. Three. And bring it down. Slow is more fun. So if you need to go faster or slower than what I'm saying, that's completely fine. Keep going on your marches. I'll actually let you go on your own time. Now another option, if you feel like your hips are moving or if you really don't, not sure if your hips are moving, you can always go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. That could be a really great option so you can get a little more tactile feedback about what's going on. And sometimes that's a great way to help cue your body of what you need to fire. Good, let's say maybe four more. So you should be feeling this in your hamstring. You should be feeling this in your glutes and your hips. This should not be going into your lower back. If you're feeling it all, think about engaging more. Notice if you're arching. And if none of those corrections fix it, take a break, bring your hips down. After you've done about four more, hips will come down. And you might hug both knees into your chest. Give them a little squeeze. Nice job. So that's really about pelvic stability. How can we move? How can we shift weight and keep our hips stabilized? We're going to do one more single leg work for our uh, glutes and our hamstrings. So we're going to come back to that same uh, bridge. So your hands can start down by your hips, elbows bent, or up towards the sky, wherever you like. So go ahead and find your way back up into a bridge. And then find your way into your single leg bridge, whichever one you would like to work on. Now, if single leg bridge is too much for you today, you can also do exactly what we're about to do with two feet down. So you're going to feel your pelvis nice and square, and now your hips are just going to come down to the mat. You're going to squeeze your glutes and press it up. Go on, you're going to do about 10 of these. 10 your goal, eight to 10 would be great. Again, if single leg is too much, Doing this, you might just hold single leg for about 10 counts. You might go to two feet and do pressing it up 10 times with two feet. That would be a great thing to do as well. So there's lots of variations. Good, if you are working single leg, always start checking in with the pelvis. It's really easy to hike that hip up, right? So then we're starting to use our lower back, we're starting to use um, things above our pelvis to keep us going. We really want to have those trunk muscles stabilized, and then the hips do the work. After you do one leg, hips will come down to take a break, if you like, or you can just go to the second side. Good. Yep. So you're gonna do the same thing on the second side. Any variation, and maybe you start with your arms in one place and you need to modify, that's fine. Or if you wanna increase the challenge, that's completely fair too. Good. So every time your hips are going up, you're squeezing those glutes. And as you go up and down, I want you to notice how you go up and down. Do you notice that both sides of your trunk and your glutes are coming up nice and symmetrically? That's the goal. 
Do you notice that one hip comes up and then the other? Or when you come down, one side comes down and then the other. That's not unusual. So if you notice those things, try to slow down. Maybe bring your hands to your body, see if you can correct it. Good. Eight to 10 on this side. After you do that, go ahead, hips will come down. Take a little break. Good job. Whew. All right, go ahead and hug both knees into your chest again. Give yourself a little squeeze. We're gonna leave those hammies and glutes alone now. And you're gonna go ahead and go rock yourself all the way up to sitting. All right, we're gonna go into a little abdominal work because you haven't done any core work yet. So, we're gonna go ahead and do a little single leg stretch variation. So I want you to go ahead and rock back on your pelvis. Hands are gonna to come towards those heels. I'm rounding my spine. So my abdominals are scooping, my shoulders down my back. I'm gonna find my balance and we're gonna go into a single leg stretch. So I'm gonna be alternating one leg and then the other. Pointed or flexed foot is great, but have energy. Good, so you're gonna keep these legs going. You're gonna keep your breath going. Slow motion, roll back down to your back. Slow is more fun. You're gonna go all the way down to your back. You're gonna let your head release. And then you're gonna reverse the process. My legs are still going. I'm gonna come chin to chest, scooping my abdominals, rolling back up, finding that balancing point, shoulders down your back. It's really easy to start hiking up. So you're gonna go like an elevator. You're gonna go up and down. You're gonna be on your own timing. Good. Making sure that you release your head each time you go down. Continual breath. Good job. If the elevator is too much, right, to roll up and down, you could just keep these legs and stay on your back. That would be another option. Or keep these legs in balance in a seated position. Let's go up and down one more time. Good. Finding that nice long leg if possible. So really getting that leg straight if you can. Good, you're gonna stay on your back. Good, you're gonna keep these legs going. Now go ahead and bow up, bring your upper body up. So we're gonna stay here now for 10. Breathing, nine, eight, seven. You can also bring your hands behind your head if you like. Five, four, breathing, three, two, one. Hug your knees in, head lengthens down. Two hands come behind your head. Bring your legs into a nice tabletop. Exhale, bow up. Now your goal is to get both shoulder blades up off the mat. Going into a crisscross. You're going to rotate same legs for 10. Changing 9, 8, 7, breathing 6, 5, good, 4, you got this, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knees in, head goes down. Good. We're going to do crisscross one more time. I want to point out that if you bring your legs higher up towards the sky, it makes it a little easier. If you bring your legs a little bit lower towards the ground, it's going to make it harder. You want to stay in a place where you're really finding your abdominals working, not your uh, hip flexors, not your quads as much. That's the goal anyway. So second set, hands behind your head. Inhale, prepare, exhale, bow up. See if you can get those shoulder blades up off the mat. Rotating for 10, breathing nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in, head goes all the way down. Good, going on to double leg stretch. So your hands are gonna to come towards your heels. Exhale, bow up, so you're in a tight little ball. You're gonna take off your hat. Your hands are gonna reach away. Your legs are gonna go long. Legs up higher is easier, lower is harder. Circle your arms all the way around and bring your knees in. Exhale, bow up. Arms, legs reach away. Circle all the way around and bring them in. Two more times. Exhale, bow. Half off. Circle your arms all the way around and bring it in. Last time. Exhale, bow. Up. Arms reach long. Circle all the way around and bring it in. Good. Head goes down. Going on to our scissors. Both legs reach up towards the sky. As straight as you can go. Bent legs would be okay. Go ahead and bow up. Reach your hands towards your legs. Maybe that's your calves. Maybe you're grabbing that to your hamstrings. Maybe you're reaching ankles. And we're going to alternate legs. So one leg comes towards my nose. One leg goes away from my body. And if you like, you can give yourself a little bit of a stretch. Good. Four, ten. 
nine, breathing eight, seven, you can also support your head, six, five, good, point to the flex foot, good, knees come in towards your chest, head goes down, give your neck a rest, nice job, last variation, scissors with rotation, so two arms can reach above your head, legs up towards the sky as straight as you can go, exhale, bow up, last one, you're going to do your uh, scissor legs and reach the opposite arms, you're going to go into rotation, for 10, nine, let's try that one, eight, breathing, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, let's do ten more, ten, nine, eight, you got this, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good grief rest, good job, find your way to your stomach, good work, so you're going to find your way to your stomach, hands beneath the shoulders. Let's do a little swan and press up, lengthen the front of your body. So toes are going to go long. Yep, you got it. Press it up, shoulders down your back. Let your head rotate to one side and then the other. And then lengthen all the way back down. Good job. Do that one more time. Inhale, lengthening up with your own timing. Turn your head easy to one side and then the other. Nice job. And find yourself all the way down. Good. We're going to work on a little extension now. We're going to go ahead and bring our left hand underneath our forehead. Yep. And then our right hand is going to reach long out in front of your body. Perfect. Exactly. Um, I'd like to. Let's bring your, uh, your left hand beside your body, by your shoulder. Sorry, came to mind. We're going to go ahead and lengthen our right hand, the one that's in front, and our left leg up. So you're going to use that left hand a little bit. Inhale, lengthening up. So it's kind of a version of swimming. And lengthen down. Just do that a couple times. Inhale, lengthening up. And exhale down. We want to really reinforce that diagonal. Inhale, lengthening up. And lengthen down. Glutes fire first. Inhale up. And lengthen down. Good job. Keep your arms where they are. Now I want your right arm and your right leg to lengthen up. So ipsilateral. Inhale, lengthening up. And lengthen down. As best you can, you're trying not to rock side to side. Again, inhale up. And exhale down. Two more. Lengthening up. Good job. And down. You're trying to bring that back leg, that right leg up as high as you could go today. Inhale up. Good, and lengthen down. Same thing on the other side, so change your arms. Right hand comes by your shoulder, left hand out front. Opposite arm is leg, left arm, right leg. Here you go, inhale, lengthen up into extension. So opposite arm, so, and legs so this one, yeah, and down. Good, again, inhale, lengthening up, and down. Moving with your breath two more times. Good, I like it. Shoulders down your back. It's really easy to draw them up by your ears. Last one. Good. It's lateral or same side. So left arm, left leg, forearm. Here you go. Inhale, lengthening up and down. And I just want you to notice how they feel. Keep going, moving with your breath. Total of four. Notice if one side or one pattern feels a little more foreign in your body. Good, using that breath really nice. After you've done your four, go ahead and rest for a moment. Good job. You can just let your head rest to one side if you want a windshield wiper your legs a little bit or just lie in your stomach. All right, we're gonna go into some full extension. So arms go out in front of the body, legs are gonna go long. By full, I mean both arms, both legs. So your pelvis, your pubic bones pressing down, and your glutes are going to engage. Inhale, lengthen everything up. Fly like Superman. Good. And exhale, lengthen down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, lengthening up. Arms plug from the back, thighs way up off the floor. And lengthen down. Last one. Inhale, lengthening up. Good. Exhale down. I'm going to add on a little bit. Inhale, lengthen up. Fly like Superman. Stay up. Exhale, bring your arms, letter T. 
Stay up. Bring your hands back towards your hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades. So you're bowing your body like a banana. Stay up. Bring back to letter T. Out in front of the body. And lengthen all the way down. Nice job. We'll do that again. Inhale, lengthen up. Full extension. Fly like Superman. Arms to letter T. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Hands come all the way back behind your hips. Reaching back. Toes are going to come up and over your head. God. Stay up, back to your letter T. Don't let your sternum drop down. Back to the front, fly like Superman, and lengthen all the way down. Good job. Hands by your shoulders, press back to a child's pose. Give yourself a release. Another option, you could windshield wiper your legs. You could do a downward dog. You could do a little cat cow. But give yourself something that feels good for a moment. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to do part of a rolling teaser. Um, this one is humbling, to say the least, and it doesn't always look pretty, and that's okay. Um, but I'll try to explain what, what our goal is. Okay, so your arms are going to go out in front of your body. And the first part is we're going to lengthen up into extension. So full extension, fly like Superman, both arms, both legs up. So we're going to roll to our right side. So you're going to reach your left hand, reach your left foot. Yep. Find that balance on your side. It's not easy. Zip up in the front. Ideally, you're trying to get that bottom arm up as best you can. No little wobbles. Easier said than done. Legs up. Keep breathing. Reverse the whole process. Length and bow the body. Roll slowly back to your stomach. And then release. Nice job. They made it look really easy. It's not easy. We're going to do that two more times. Same side. Here we go. Inhale, lengthening up. So flying like Superman. In an ideal world, you're just flipping to your side. You're not uh, rotating or leading with a foot or a hand. Ideally, not pushing off the floor. Easier said than done. Zip up. It almost might feel like a pike. Like you're, like you're really hiking forward. God. Nice. When you feel like you have a good balance, slowly with control. Nice. Roll back to your stomach and lengthen down. Good. And if you haven't done these before, it definitely takes some practice. And it's definitely this, this it's a lateral, the same side pattern. It's not something we do a ton. So it's, it's challenging on many levels. Last one. Inhale, lengthen up. Reach that left hand, reach that left foot. Zip it up. Go, you got it. You got it. Breathing here. God, with control, lengthen all the way back down towards your belly. Bow the body. And then release. Nice job. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Here you go. Inhale, lengthen up, full extension. Now you're going to reach your right hand, your right foot away from each other. Find your balance onto your left side. Zip up. Good. Trying to find no wobbles. Give yourself a moment if you're feeling the wobbles. Stabilize as best you can. When you're ready, reach your hands and your feet away from each other even more as you roll back to your stomach and lengthen down. The goal is not to push with your hands or your feet. Easier said than done. Here we go. Inhale, lengthen up. And sometimes when you're first learning it, that's a completely fair strategy. Yep, go ahead. Lengthen. Roll to your side. Zip up. Yeah. It's that, almost that like pipe moment. You've got to really bring the abdominals in. When you're ready, lengthen back down towards your stomach. Good. And down. Really nice. Last one. There you go. Inhale. Lengthening up. Reach that side of the body. Reach that right side of your body. See if you can keep your left arm up off the floor. Oh, it's so hard. Zip up. Hip stacked. Shoulder stacked. Good. Lengthen the body. Bow back down to your stomach. And all the way down. Oh, nice job. Enough of that. That was really good, though. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and um, one more little thing, fun thing to do. We're going to come to your side. So we're going to do some side legs. A little more pelvic stability. Yeah, that'll work. Um, 
So your head can be down on the mat. Your head can be supported by your hand. Um, your top hand can be on the mat. That's going to give you some stability. You can have it on your hips. That makes it a little harder. But you're going to go ahead and um, bring your top leg up and reach it away from your body. So your abdominals are going to be in the front, and then your top hips are really reaching away. So it's almost like your the bottom of your waist is lifting up off, maybe literally, or, or maybe it's just pulling away from the floor. You're going to maintain this, no wobbles, take little circles with that top leg, about like this size of a volleyball. And really, again, same as we did before, we're just moving the leg, trying to keep everything else still. Same concept that we've been doing over and over in different variations. Can okay, you move that leg, stabilize the pelvis? Can you use your trunk and your pelvis together? 10 circles one way. Reverse cycle, the same thing. Good. Notice if you're bringing anything else into the equation that you don't really need. Are you really gripping with that top arm or your neck? See if you can let it go if you are. Good. After you do 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way, that leg can go ahead and lengthen down. Same mechanics. Now our leg is going to come forward and back. Inhale, lengthen that leg up. Pelvis doesn't move. Top leg's going to swipe forward as far as you can go. And then it's going to swipe all the way back, way behind your body. Don't zip up. Notice if you're death gripping with that front leg. Or in. inhale, reach the arm forward. Uh, that's your leg, which is forward, exhale, reach it back. You know what I mean? Again, inhale, lengthen forward, and exhale back. Pointed or flexed foot, I don't care which, but have energy through your leg. Three more. And reach it way back. Big hip stretch. Inhale, forward, coordinate your breath. Good. And swipe it way back behind your body. Use that glute. Last one. Inhale, forward. Good. And all the way back. Nice job, bring that leg back and rest. Okay, so Drew, other side. Same thing. So head wherever you like, either down, you can be supported. Hand can be in front of the body or on your hips. Both legs are gonna reach long. You could have it, your legs directly in line with your body like a pencil, that's gonna make it hard, harder. If you bring your legs slightly in front of your body, that's gonna make it a little easier. It's gonna give you a little more stability. Lengthen your top leg up. Doms the front, little circles. Good. Trying to not have any little hula hips. If you notice, we have a little bit of movement. I'm talking a little bit for most people. Just try to slow down. Use your breath, use your mind's eye so you can control it. Reach the leg longer. Sometimes that will really help. 10 circles one way. And then you'll ride away in reverse, 10 going the other way. So we're really going for quality, not about speed or quantity. Good, easy throw, easy job. After you do 10 circles from both directions, you can lengthen that leg down, take a little rest. Next, we'll go forward and back. Inhale, lengthen that leg up, point it or flex foot, swipe that leg all the way in front of the body as far as you can go, and then swipe it all the way back, way behind the body, using that handy, using that glute. Again, inhale, swipe it forward. Exhale, abdominals in the front will help you from tipping over. Again, inhale, forward. And exhale, reach it back. Twice more. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. Good. Last one. Good. Nice. Really nice. Come back to center and release. Okay. Go ahead and uh, switch sides again. Switch your room. We're going to go into a uh, clam variation. Clam shells for our hips. So you have a couple options. You can do um, clam shells on your side. So you'll be kind of like this. Your head will be down. Your feet are gonna be in line with your pelvis and your knees. Yeah, that's great. So kind of aligned in here, your feet will stay glued together. That's one version. Another version is coming into a side plank. So you're gonna be coming up and holding your um, side plank on your knees and maybe you just hold that. And then the last variation is put all three together. So you're in a side plank, your hips are up and then we're gonna add the clam shells. 
So whichever you want to do, we're going to do, well, let's, let's make it shoot for 12. So stabilizing that bottom, go ahead on your own timing. So what your, your goal is, any variation that you want to do, either holding a side plank, that's a really great one for your hips. Maybe you're doing your clamshells on the mat, so you're doing it on your side, or you're doing it in your um, side plank. Either way, you're really, again, your pelvis is staying put, your knee is go, going up, 12 total of these. You're counting, not me. Um, if you start to move your hips, if you start to move your back, you're missing the boat. You're using all sorts of stuff that you don't need to use. After you do 12, we'll switch your room. See, that was so nice. Only one set. <laughs> Piece of cake. So again, whatever variation that you want to do. On the floor, holding a side plank, or putting them all together, total of 12. So when you're in your side plank, you're making sure that your elbow is right beneath your shoulder, and then that shoulder's really reaching down your back. Good job. Dom's lift up. Notice if you're arching at all in this. So your hips and your shoulders should be in line. Good job. Now, if you want to have more fun with this, you can always add a band if you have something that's available. You can always add that. Good job. Good. And if you want to have more fun, you can even do an extra set. But I'm not going to make these guys do an extra set set today. Go ahead and uh, to wrap up, let's go ahead and flip onto your backs. Uh, oh, I lied. We're going to do either a figure four or a pigeon. So it's your choice. So you can uh, flip onto your back, cross one leg over, give yourself a little stretch, or you can do like Megan's going to show a pigeon. So different ways to stretch the same thing. You can have your feet down. You can grab behind that hand. You can extend the leg up and pull it towards your body. Whatever feels good. If there's another stretch that you feel like you really need, maybe it's not even your hip stretch, feel free to do this. This is the last thing we're doing together. Make it easy. So our stretches, we want to hold them about 30 seconds to a minute. Using your breath, you can have your eyes closed or you can have your eyes open. Easy throat, easy jaw. If you're doing pigeon, it shouldn't be putting pressure on your knee. Feel free to use any bolsters or props to help you up in any of these. And if you're ready, go ahead and find your way to your second side. Or you can go ahead and stay in your first side if you, you haven't gotten enough yet. And it's whatever you need for your body right now. One of the great benefits of Pilates, I think, is it trains us to really listen and pay attention, right? And to notice what you need. Don't wait for the instructor or someone to tell you, you need to do a pigeon or you need to do some rotation, but that you really gain that ability to listen and monitor and then you have these tools in your tool bag that you can choose and um, do things that you need. Okay, well, feel free to keep stretching if you like and do anything else you need. I think that's it for today. Thanks, guys. Bye.